Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you my stash of food that I have in my house. It's Sunday night and I normally get a good amount of fruit on Saturday and then on Sunday I get the rest of my fruit and vegetables at JJ's and I'm going to show you what I have in my house and in my fridge. So this is currently my fruit stash. Um, I got these two papayas from uh, Mung Mai yesterday and I got these three from JJ's today. I have three of the dragon fruits. I got two avocados and I have one in the fridge that are already ripe so if they're ripe I just like to put in the fridge and last like a couple days. Um, but these guys are still pretty hard. I got two containers of organic cherry tomatoes and then I normally put my cherry tomatoes in this little bowl. It doesn't get as like moldy as fast and it just like keeps for a while. You should leave your tomatoes outside not in the fridge. Um, then I have my limes. This is pretty much what I use in a lot of salad dressings. Sometimes I put apple cider vinegar but mostly put limes and then two Decent sized watermelons, they're not huge, but uh, I'll have one for like breakfast or breakfast part one and then have, you know, bananas or something. So this is my part one of my fruit stash. Since I ran out of space to put my uh, bananas on my shelves, this is my banana stash. So we have a variety of ripening stages. So we got these guys, um, I'm probably gonna freeze tonight and then these probably need um, three or four days and then these three will need maybe another three days as well and if they ripen too quickly I will just freeze them because I like making banana ice cream so I'm gonna show you what's in my fridge but before I show you what I put in my dressings so this is mustard powder I'm not sure if it's 100% raw or not um, like I said I'm just doing a 30 day challenge and then after that we'll go from there um, some cinnamon I like to put in like banana ice cream some smoothies sesame seeds um, if I don't have tahini I'll make like kind of my own-ish tahini dressing and then it's just like blend these with like some cute some zucchinis to bulk it up so it's not super fatty I have some ginger herbal tea here um, if I ever need some like warm beverages sometimes it's nice or helps with digestion I uh, got some Italian seasoning there's no salt in here black pepper uh, more black pepper it's like freshly ground. Uh, we got some curry powder. Sometimes I put that in dressings and have like a curry dressing. Um, and then we have paprika. So that's pretty much things I put in my dressing. Um, I also put like apple cider vinegar sometimes. So up here we got some grapes. Um, I like to snack on these. I need to eat like at least like a kilo or at least like a kilo to have it like a meal. So I like to have them as like snacks. Like I like to snack on fruit uh, during the day or like before I have my dinner like my big salad I like to have some fruit so I'll just snack on these we got some green onions or scallions we got some cucumbers here um, and then we got some different another cucumber this is like a Thai cucumber it's a little bit different from like the English cucumber we got some corn um, all these are organic from JJ's we got is it some bell pepper or capsicum we got more corn back there I think that's all on the top shelf and then I have my grains so normally I put them all in here in the bottom of the crisper and it just lasts longer but I don't I ran out of room um, I'm gonna do a whole video on how many greens I eat how much greens I eat in a week and in a day but I'm averaging around a pound a day and so that's around yeah like six to seven pounds a week which is a lot of greens I like my greens and then I got some spinach I know it's all in like plastic, but it's all organic, so I don't know, it tastes better. Um, and I like to put those in like, sometimes I put them in salads, but I have so much other greens that I normally just keep these um, in my smoothies. Sometimes I'll even put it in banana ice cream, but I just find it's like sweeter than um, these greens. So I have a variety. These are like leaf lettuce, and I have some romaine, and then pretty much this is all romaine and like really tender um, butter leaf lettuce. These are really nice. Um, and then I have more romaine here. That's pretty much my favorite. I try to switch it up because you want to get like a variety of minerals I find and then basically This is all the things that I used to eat, but I don't really anymore and they're just like kind of sitting there <laughs> so this is my um, raw orange juice from JJ's and I always get um, I think this is almost two liters at least two liters liter and a half and I drank one for breakfast today And then I'll probably have that tomorrow or half of it um, maybe I'll put it in a smoothie with some spinach. 
Um, there's some old sauerkraut, sweet chili sauce, uh, juices, but I don't really use those. I have some beans that aren't even cooked. Ketchup, I don't use that anymore, obviously. Um, we got some tahini that I use for my dressings. Some old salsas that I don't use. It's kind of gross, I should throw it out. An avocado, like I said, it's ripe. Other limes that I'm currently using. Cashews, if I want a cashew dressing, but I still, I don't use a whole lot because I like to keep it low fat. And then we have some garlic, sometimes I put that in dressing, and then some ginger also in dressing, or sometimes I like to put it in smoothies. I really like uh, banana, ginger, and spinach smoothies. I think they're really good. And then of course, you gotta get your B12. I'll do a whole video on that and why I take it. And actually, I think it's over 60% of the population is deficient, and obviously, more than 60% of the population is not vegan. So it is not a vegan issue. It is a issue with the minerals in our soils. So that's pretty much everything I have in my house. I'm just eating my salad right now. I put some avocado as a dressing, kind of made like a guacamole dressing. And it's really delicious. Today is day 27 raw? 27, yeah, because I have three more days. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do a whole update when I do the 30 days and let you know if I'm gonna go back to cook food or never eat that again or what's going on. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. I have a plan, an experiment that I wanna do, but uh, until then, I'm enjoying the raw. I love my salads, I love fruit. I'll never, I never ever get sick of fruit, especially when it's such high quality. I just, yeah, I just can't. I love fruit, fruit is life. Uh, cook food or not, always gonna eat an abundance of fruit. I feel great on that and always an abundance of greens. Um, so that's everything that's in my house currently and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Don't forget to go vegan, stay vegan, go kick some ass. And eat your greens, vegetables, and fruits. Peace.